Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever series. As you may know, OSHT had its first uh, open beta and as one might assume this might attract new players to the game. The start of the game is where most people give up on the game because they have no clue on what to do. For this reason, I decided to start a series as a brand new free to play player with the goal of beating Runescape's most iconic quest. Dragon Slayer. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll head to our first bank being up on top of the Lumbridge Castle. And once we get there, we will deposit all of our junk so that we can get some more inventory space. To open the bank, you either talk to the bankers or you just click on the bank boot. I prefer just clicking on the bank boot because it is easier. Okay, so our first goal is to actually train up our combat skills. For this, we will obviously need our combat weapons, which we will use the bronze sword and the day shield. But along with that, we will bring the hatchet to chop some logs, and then we will also bring the tinder box. The most iconic place to train back in the day was fighting these goblins. They aren't exactly hard to kill, but the problem with them is that they actually quit dealing some damage. Like for example, from this fight we already received two damage. Granted, one of them was healed. Also, as you can see, we've got this sword icon, which shows that our attack level is increasing. With attack, you increase your accuracy. Also, in case if you don't know where we are, we just click on the combat tab here. So, as you can see on the step, accurate, we increase our attack skill, and with uh, the attack skill, it increases our accuracy to hit the enemy. With strength, we actually increase the damage we deal to the enemy. With every four, uh, with every four strength levels, you actually are able to hit an extra one damage. So if we are level 4, we will be able to hit a maximum of 2. And if we are level 8 uh, strength, we would be able to hit a maximum damage of 3. And the uh, defense is the exact opposite of attack. Instead, it is the likelihood that we block damage. And then, there is also... Okay, so the pro sword doesn't have it, but in this slot there is usually a shared a shared XP. And what this does is that the XP is distributed equally along all of the skills, being attack, strength, defense, and hit points. Alright, so with that explained, let's continue killing those goblins. As you can see, killing the goblins is taking quite a while, which is I generally don't recommend it. I'm just going to kill this one last goblin. And in case you're curious, uh, killing that one single goblin took around 30 seconds and all he dropped is bones. Well, at least bones are useful because you can bury them for some prayer experience. And with a higher prayer level, you will be eventually be able to use protect from magic, protect from missiles, and protect from melee. Now, instead, I'm going to try my luck uh, to killing the chickens because at least when I kill the chickens, they will drop raw chicken, which I can use for cooking for some cooking experience, and also so that I can sustain myself more in combat. The best thing uh, with chickens is that they actually have uh, zero attack, so it's actually impossible for them to ever damage you. Some people say that you should always pick up the bones, especially as a free to play prayer, so that you can start training your prayer level, but honestly, I say like quite bother. And just like that, you can see that we actually got our strength, not strength, I mean our attack level up to level 2. Now I'm just going to keep on killing chickens until I get my infantry full of raw chickens, so that then I can cook them, and I'll be able to kill something more worthwhile. 
pink those cows. Like uh, the problem with the cows is that they are actually stronger than uh, the goblins because they've got a total of 8 HP. But at least with cows they drop cow hide with uh, this person is living on the ground. And cow hide is actually quite valuable in a free to play. Alright, finally after a million years I've collected enough raw chicken. And I'm now going to chop down the tree. Which hopefully it doesn't take long. Which will give me a log. Then as I said earlier, I'm going to make the fire. And now I'm going to cook them. Oh, well that was uh, lucky. Hopefully I don't burn uh, many of them at all. Let's see. Alright, I already burnt one. Hey, okay, that's another level. Which increases, uh, which decreases my burn rate. Also, fun fact, if uh, rather than on an open fire, you decide to cook them on a range, the likelihood of you burning the food uh, decreases substantially. Doing level 5, which uh, ties it to my attack level, which is also 5. Which means now I can uh, wear steel weapons. And uh, just like that, I press my inventory. Now, in case you didn't know, you can go to your settings. And there, there's a setting called Shift Click to Drop Items. By default, I think this is disabled, so make sure you enable it so that then when you cook, you're able to drop stuff quickly, just like that. Which is way more convenient than having to right click drop, right click drop, right click drop. But anyway, with that out of the way, now I'm going to try my luck with some cows. And this tradition, I'm going to kill it first cow and record it just so that you can see how long this takes me on average. Well, on a fridge with a simple size of one, we can't really say that it's on a fridge. But let's see. Right now, we're just past the 15 second mark. 20 seconds. 25. 30 seconds. Damn, this is taking a real long time. Thank God I trained some attack for come here, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that it took 40 seconds. I'm going to collect both the raw beef and the cow hide, and those are actually the price. Alright, the goblin mail, which I got quite luckily from the gas goblin I killed, cost 210 GP. Uh, cooked chicken cost 66 GP, that's quite good. Cooked, uh, cooked cow height, I mean like cow height is uh, 140 GP and raw beef is 79 GP, so like them. It might be worth collecting both raw beef and cow height. But anyway, let's uh, just keep on killing until I manage to fill, not manage to fill, until I use up all of my cooked chicken. I just got my first strength level up and also just discovered something else. Apparently, bones are worth 112 GP each, so it might be where to, instead of picking up raw beef, I just uh, bank raw bones, because early on 112 GP is quite a lot of money. Alright, as you can see, my infantry is full. And uh, therefore I'm just going to go make a trip to the bank so that I clear uh, up some inventory space. Also, surprisingly enough, they barely dealt anything, which I thought they'd deal much more. So I think I won't be leveling up defense for quite a while. Instead, I'll be focusing up on leveling up my strength and attack so that I can kill them faster. 
and anyway if I kill them faster I'm also taking less damage also if you want I'm pretty sure that you can talk to this guy I thought they should give you any good information but you can ask for a training sword and shield and he'll give you these two their stacks are exactly identical to the ones you already have in fact as you can see nothing is changing but I think they look cooler let's see if it's actually worth while holding them I mean we won't have 4 HP sure I'll keep it but the bronze sword I'm going to dump that and off I go to killing the cows again Alright, I've finally finished uh, killing the cows using uh, all of my cooked chicken and I've ended up with 29 bones, 30 cow hides and 4 raw beefs. So in here I'm going to do withdraw as a node and I'm going to withdraw them all. And now I'm going to see how much I actually ended up making. So in total we've got 7.7k but there's one problem the problem being that as a new player with under 20 hours played we are unfortunately unable to sell the cowhide so in reality we only have 3.5k but uh, we can use this to our advantage Instead of using the cow hide to sell it for GP, we are instead going to make it into leather and and to level up our crafting level to hopefully 5. To do this, I'm first going to do sheep's herder, I think it's called, uh, because if I remember player correctly, it gets me to 100 coins, which I will use to turn my cowhide into leather so i'm going to meet you back after i go to the quest starting location all right i'm at the quest starting locations and actually i just know that there's some free stuff i'm just going to see how much they cost out of curiosity so the brass x 65 gp not bad and the egg 30 gp I'm just going to collect the egg because I need it in a future quest. I know that I need it, the shears for this quest and I'm going, just going to talk to Fred. I'm looking for a quest, blah blah blah, 20 balls of wool. Nobody cares. Let's do it. So to collect the wool. Oh my god, just stop talking. To collect the wool you just go in here and to press the shear on the sheep. Like you will probably accidentally attack the ram and I think you'll have to kill him because otherwise he won't let you shear the sheep. But I'll see you after I shear 20 sheep and I get 20 wolves. Well, I actually fell for what I thought to try to avoid. I accidentally killed the, not killed, attacked the ram. Can I shear? Oh, I can still shear. So I guess you can actually just ignore him. Oh, you got them penguins. Okay, we got our 20 wolves. Actually, we've got uh, 25 because we're a bit of an entrepreneur. And uh, the only thing we care about is money. And obviously more wool equals more money. Also, I don't know why my character is fucking out like this when I'm walking. But anyway, my next destination is on the first floor of the castle because there's a spinning wheel which I can use to make into balls of wool. And now we're at the spinning wheel, but let's see how much the wool actually costs. Okay, so in total it costs 975 at 39 GP each. Let's see how much we make after we make them all in balls of wool also just uh, what the fuck is this animation like what is even going on like the, the spinning wheel is spinning but I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to be spinning like bro just come on just what even is this 
But anyway, I guess that's why it's an open beta and not the full release. Okay, we finished doing all of our reports of all. I'm pretty sure they costed 975 in total with 39 GB each, and now we've got. Wow, we actually went down in uh, money. This isn't very cash money. This is quite the opposite of cash money. Hopefully, I remembered correctly. And that dude actually ends up uh, bringing me. Not bringing me, giving me some serious cash. Alright, we're here, we're going to talk to the suit. And to talk to the opportunity sheeps. Okay. Oh. Well. I think he kinda scammed us. 60 coins only. And 150 crafting XP. If we sold them ourselves. Level oh, 3. But that's what I was saying. If we actually sold those wool ourselves, we would have made like 900 GP. But anyway, what we really wanted was the crafting experience. And now we're going to wake our way into Ankarit. And you know what? Let's actually listen to the music while looking at this review. Honestly, the OSHD graphics are so beautiful. I'm pretty sure the music is the same though. <laughs> Let me in boys. I'm here to do some serious business. But anyway, I'm just going to go to this bank over here and and I'm going to withdraw my cow my cowhide. I'll see you when I get there. Alright, we're at the bank and what we're going to need is obviously the coins and the cowhide. And you know what? As is tradition now, we're going to check oh come on, don't stop walking. But okay. 3.78k and that's going to turn into Come on, Ellis, don't scam us. 3.78k into. Ooh, 5.4k. So actually, he didn't scam us. This more than makes up for the scam that Fred pulled on us. But now I'm just going to do the same thing again with the rest of my town height. I tend the last of my cow height as you can see I only had 3 and now oh my god I went to the, ring st to the wrong store but now I'm going to the crafting store and I'm actually going to buy a needle and how much is thread? Damn we actually put low on money and I'm going to buy 10 thread and this there a ring? Yes a ring mold and a necklace mold these two will be useful later on and now I'm going to head back to the bank and I'm, I'm going to start training my crafting level alright we're at the bank so the needle and thread we're going to keep them because we need them and we're going to pull out the ladder and we're going to use the needle on the ladder and we're going to start training crafting but first Obviously, let's see actually how much money we have now for 5.2k and we'll see how much money we'll end up with. That's uh, crafting level 4. We don't really care about uh, crafting level 4, we're just going to continue. And it's just like that we're crafting level 5. And you know what? On second thought, I think uh, crafting level 5 is just what we need. I don't see any point in leveling up our crafting using this. But let's see how much we actually made uh, money. So, one letter, 201 coins, and one letter gloves, 16 coins. That's a bit oof. But. Uh, we really had to get the level 5 crafting for what I had in plan. 
we're just going to bank our stuff and now we're finally going to go and sell our stuff and we where will we go to sell it to the current exchange and we'll take the very unorthodox route of just heading north through Algarit going through this gap and then going past the dark uh, mages like hopefully they won't kill me but to be honest I don't even know how people actually die to them like just don't die lol alright we made it to the holy shit level 20 I don't remember them being such a high level oh I guess it's just that one dude but anyway let's turn on the music for Varok and experience it Charlie the Trump Fuck you, man. Alright, alright, alright. I'm not gonna lie. Free to play words for rock is pretty deserted. Let's actually try a popular word and see just how many people there are. Damn. You know what? Meteor is looking quite slick. If you're having a question or stuck on something, try talking to, talking to the Lampage Kyle. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to walk back to Lampage for that. Black armor tail, look, what the hell is that? Whoa, I see you still there, look, but I mean, that's cool and all, but I kind of want to keep my. Oh, never mind. Look at me, boys, I'm rich. But let's see if I can remove it if I just uh, hop words. Okay, if I hop words, it uh, changes. Let's go back to 301. The iconic free to play world where everybody's trying to scam each other. Oh! Before I found our first scam. Two. Damn, look at them. The place of the scams. Oh, damn, another one? Damn, that's impressive. Oh! Did you see that guy who said there, how am I a scammer or something like that? He's 100% scamming. <laughs> oh, look, another scam website. Eh? Oh my god, don't tell me I did some friends. For fuck's sake. Anyway, I'm going to hop back. Actually, you know what? Let's stay, let's stay here. Just hopefully none of you actually clicks on the scam links. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our stuff. What the hell is our other shit? Okay, there it is. And we're going to try and sell it. I'm 99% sure they're going to tell us we first need to talk to another dude. Oh shit, we don't. Let's actually try to sell. You know what, minus 5%, let's go. I don't care. Actually, I'm in the holy shit, Rulongs, who are you, yo, 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 oh, here, 100% here, Ohana. I know it, come on, oh, for fuck's sake, then it's got to be here, <gasps> oh, what the hell? come on, dude, here, I just know it, okay, I can see the future, bro, here, it's got to be here, trust me. Fish is so oh, come on. Oh, now it's back that side. You know what? Come on, come on, please, dude. Well, all of that excitement for nothing. Anyway, let's keep on silly going shit. Let's sell for collect. Let's sell for stuff. And 8.8k. And when we first project initially, we were only 7.6k. And you know what? I'm going to turn off the music so you can hear me better. But let's see how much actually the two long up was. Oh, 18k. But anyway. We made our first few GP and I think that's how we're going to stop our first episode. In the next episode, we will continue showing how we can make use of this 8k GP to make like a 100k. I'm pretty sure in the next episode we'll be able to make at least a 100k GP 
and I think it will be done in a shorter time than it took us to make our first A kit KGP. So until then, this is uh, bye from me. I see you again in the next one.